Hey guys, so quick update. Um, today, yesterday I broke a, uh, a motor mount, so that kind of hinders the testing that I can do um, for the pothole testing. But you know, take what you can assume from motor, the motor mount breaking. But uh, until then, I have to wait on some parts. Uh, here is, for, for example, uh, the broken motor motor mount. Um, I'll try to see if I can go on the other side. Um, so you can see right there, uh, the motor mount sheared off at the very end. So, um, yeah, it's a little bit unfortunate. I might have to custom make a steel part uh, to withstand the impact loads that the um, test rig places on the wheel. But right now I'm doing lateral tests and just trying to put as many uh, hours and miles on it. And so here we can see how the uh, the motor, the, it's basically placing, uh, just assembling its corner load. So you can see the jig here, how um, it's at about like maybe a 30 degree angle um, and then the truck is deflecting and it's placed against the, the test rig there. Um, but yeah, just a, a quick update. Just uh, want to be super transparent about uh, how everything is going and some of the trials and tribulations I have on the product uh, or project. And uh, yeah, so here's just another another uh, quick view of the test rig. Um, basically, it runs for 10 minutes. It applies brake for about um, a half a mil. Uh, half a second and keeps on going over and over and then then a two minute break where I inspect the wheel to check for you know any cracks any anything anything strange so uh, but yeah that's that's what it looks like I have the vest readout here so you can see here it's cruising at um, uh, 45,000 e rpm um, which is basically 3,000 about a little bit over 3,000 RPM on the motor. Um, so I think that's like around 35 or so, or maybe maybe a little bit more. But you see that it, it hits a brake right here, and it goes right back up. And um, yeah, it just does that over and over and over until it breaks. And yeah, that's uh, just durability testing, not very sexy. 